Tazica have been contracted to undertake the bridge replacement of Tanner's Bank in North Shields. My name is Stuart McIntosh and I'm the project manager for the bridge replacement scheme at Tanner's Bank. The work is being done as the old bridge has come to the end of its life. Replacing it now will ensure the trains can run in areas for years to come. So far, Tazica have fabricated two UDEX in our Greater Manchester fabrication shop. We have also completed the fabrication of 10 precast units off-site which are now being brought to be installed on-site during the blockade. So far in the blockade, we've slowed the wheelie out the way of the track to allow the demolition works to commence. We have also removed the track and over the course of the weekend, the bridge was demolished and taken off-site. So now that the bridge has been demolished, we're on with the installation of the new bridge. New precast units have been brought to site which are currently being installed behind me as you'll see. After these precast units have been installed, the two new decks will arrive on site tonight to be lifted into position by the crane. And the original problem for Nexus is that we've got a Victorian bridge here which is coming to the end of its asset life and ultimately for that reason we have to replace it to ensure that we provide a good, a good service to our customers with, with minimal maintenance interventions. The design provides a second benefit to the, the local community in that it, it creates more headroom so it means that larger vehicles such as double-decker buses, heavy goods vehicles can pass down Tanner's Bank. By doing that we increase the, the connectivity between North Shields Town Centre and the Fish Key which is the main aim of North Tyneside's regeneration scheme. Uh, the benefits to Metro passengers are that the fact that we've got a new bridge, we increase its design life, it means that there's, there's fewer maintenance interventions. You know, whilst the, the, kind of the old bridge had that heritage value, its design, um, its arch meant that it was susceptible to bridge strikes and if the bridge was struck that would mean that we couldn't operate uh, metros on our infrastructure. So I've been involved uh, from the start uh, with the original feasibility studies that looked into alternatives for replacement, different types of decks that we could put in, uh, followed by the tender process as well, looking to tender the design and build contract. And then working as one of the project engineers on the project, working alongside Tazka and their designer to review designs, ensure that it gives Metro and Nexus the design that we wanted and would give us the assurance going forward that we'll get at least another 120 years out of the structure. The old structure, as I say, was life expired. The timber deck was, uh, was significantly rotted, but the maker's plate was saved. And that's something uh, that was highlighted to Tazaka from the very start of the project uh, to make sure that that piece of history uh, was retained. And that's been sent up to the Stevenson Railway Museum so it can go on display there as part of the history of the local area. I found Tazaka to be um, a collaborative, knowledgeable, uh, safety uh, conscious contractor. Every project has its challenges. You know, we found that Tazaga, as well as their subcontractors, you know, broached those those challenges with a you know a can-do attitude. And I think they, they really understood you know the importance of this scheme to Nexus. In order to facilitate this scheme, we had to put in place a 14-day blockade. So they really understood the importance that this to, to Nexus that the scheme went well, and they understood the impact of that on our you know paying passengers and the impact on the scheme on, on local businesses in and around the Fishgate too. You know, they appreciated those stakeholders. It was more than just a Nexus job and it, it linked to the local economy as well. I was a graduate engineer on site, so I was responsible for providing technical advice from start to finish throughout the project, just to ensure that we met the design standards and the bridge was built to the required standards, essentially. So I was involved with the client. The client was there, thereabouts on site every day, so they were very reactive, very understanding. If we came across any issues or we needed a problem solved, they were there on hand and it was, uh, it was very helpful and I think has now developed a very good relationship. I've thoroughly enjoyed this project, yeah. It was a really good learning curve for me throughout the project. There was loads of different aspects to it and I was able to mentor various people and pick up uh, a lot that's good for my personal development, so I really enjoyed it. In order to protect the project programme and mitigate the potential for impact during the blockade, we made a decision to, during the planning phase to cast the concrete within the steel deck and apply the waterproofing system in order to minimise the construction time on site. To accommodate the additional load of the pre-poured deck, which approximately doubled the weight of the planned lifts, we increased the crane size to a 750 ton mobile crane. Myself and Brian Lawrence had quite a lot of interaction on a week-to-week -week basis on the project, so he's in charge of the fabrication and delivery of the structure as well. So a lot of what he does did feed into our other civils box that went all around it. So, uh, and obviously being in charge of the PUA, the OLE, so uh, they, all, they all feed off each other, yeah. During the blockade specifically, we encountered six underground services which were not identified in the buried services and which were unknown. So uh, we had to get in touch with the local power company to come out and see if they were belonged to them, which the majority of them did, so they were spiked. But they also identified one cable which wasn't within their remit, so we also had to get another subcontractor in to spike that as well. 
So it was obviously during an intense period of the blockade, it was critical that I got done as swiftly as possible to allow the works to progress. Never worked with Nexus before, they're a relatively new client to the to Tazikers, so there's a lot of learning how each other works at the start, but by the end of the, the project, I think we've had a really good working relationship with them now. It's been a fantastic project to work on for Tazika. Complex engineering project, working closely across all divisions of Tazika, a truly collaborative project. And special thanks to the client Nexus for, for letting us be a part of it. And a big congratulations and well done to all of the team that worked on this scheme.